Hello, my name is Joe Mello, and today I'm going to go over my mastery journal outline for my master's program in instructional design and technology here at Full Sail University. Today I want to start off with the mastery personal development and leadership course. Um, the three goals I had there was understanding uh, my personal life's task as Green described it, um, engaging school mindset um, to prepare for the future courses, as well as starting my um, schedule for coursework. You can see there that I have three different strategies, read and internalize the course readings, as well as engage friends that are currently in school for their tips and create an effective study plan for the course. The second course is going to be strategies for learner engagement. Here I plan on getting a better understanding of what will be expected of me, applying information to fully engaged students, as well as build better presentation and delivery skills plan on reading the syllabus and really reaching out to the professor and engaging any current employees um, using newly learned techniques that I currently work over as well as practicing presenting more often. The third course, Visual and Verbal Communications and Instructional Design, uh, three goals would be work on becoming more concise with my work, build upon previous strategies in design, as well as understanding how to utilize aspects of design to better enhance my work. You can see the three different strategies there, employing better editing strategies, keeping notes to refer back to and utilize later, as well as looking at previous work to see weaknesses to build upon. Moving on to the fourth course, I plan on applying training strategies to my current work, um, learn to further remove my ego, to better critique my personal work, um, and to better engage the student, as well as apply the use of assessments and surveys to my current job. You can also see the three strategies there, applying the strategies to my current work, slow down um, to consciously remove my ego from the project, as well as work with my current team lead to implement new tools to measure our efficiency. For the fifth course, Instructional Design and Evaluation, I plan on gaining a firm grasp on the differences in design strategies to get my desired outcome, as well as implementing emotional intelligence and learning theories in the workplace and creating media-rich training to meet workplace needs. Three different strategies that I'm going to employ would be studying smarter, and that means studying multiple days out of the week, complete leading with emotional intelligence course on LinkedIn Learning, as well as work with my management team to identify a topic. The halfway mark, digital media and learning applications. I plan on learning how to use new software efficiently, ask questions when I need them because I'm not too tech savvy, and become more fluent and confident in the use of the required technology. The three strategies that I hope to implement would be to being open to the failure and not getting it the right the first time, and working with the professor when I feel lost, as well as exploring my curiosity and playing with the new systems until I get them. In the seventh course, Music and Audio for Instructional Design, I plan on understanding how to utilize audio to augment and improve workplace trainings, build upon my current knowledge base of music, but not being too confident in my present knowledge, as well as create a training to utilize voiceover for, for work. The three strategies I plan on using to get me there would be working within the office hours, that the professor has to get some help, as well as watch the overconfidence bias by Drew Boyd in LinkedIn Learning, and watch recording the voiceover by Tony Harmer in LinkedIn Learning as well. In the seventh course, filmmaking principles for instructional design, I plan on learning and understanding how to create a quality video that does not look like a home video understand and apply video techniques to enhance previously created video, as well as applying filmmaking techniques to a workplace training. To get there, I plan on methodically utilizing my new skills to make sure that they're good, um, read a book or listen to a podcast to understand how particular scenes was created, as well as create a video to show it to management for pr approval. In the ninth course, I plan to build upon knowledge of the student engagement to create a workplace game for training, as well as work with the assistance of games to create an assessment and be able to engage students that, with a game that I create. Strategies are focused on getting engaged employees in a new initiative, complete teaching complex topics with LinkedIn learning, and as well as using Kahoot. 
the 10th course, Learning Management Systems and Organization, I plan on understanding the two different types of learning, creating a tool for each type of learning, as well as gain knowledge of different content presentation and delivery methods. The strategies I will employ will be working with classmates to fully understand the information, create additional time in my schedule to create two different tools, as well as rehearse presenting information with my family. In the 11th month, media asset creation, I plan to gain knowledge of media assets, be able to discern what type of media is best for a given lesson, as well as understand how to assess learner's ability and properly teach to that. Strategies I plan on employing, schedule time to meet with a professor during office hours, create a study plan to understand this topic better, as well as rewatch and take notes during the lecture multiple times. For the final class, Instructional Design and Technology Final Project, plan on utilizing all the skills that I've gained and be able to put that large knowledge base of learning and delivery methodologies to use effectively as well as create a learning tool that can be used by my department. To get there, I'm going to need to review all my past notes and course outlines, utilize the professor, classmates, and personal network to gauge my personal progress on the final assignment, as well as create a needs assessment to fully understand what is needed. Moving on, I listed a few industry leaders that I want to connect with. I'm Melissa Schusterman, she is a state representative of Pennsylvania as well as the president of her own media company, um, Deborah Allen, the VP of Human Resources at Sugarfina. I look forward to speaking with her in regards to her extensive experience with people and managing um, Charles Seidel. He's a senior program manager for HX5. His extensive experience in the military as well as leading and be being, being a project manager. Um, Linda Butt, she is a interim director of instructional design here at UCF. Diana Davis, she's a curriculum supervisor for the Milton Hershey School. And Ben Highclack, he is the instructional designer for the Los Angeles Film School. My, the idea here was to gain a large base of people who are professionals in their own right, as well as you know, masters and who are at the top of their field, but also have a common thread throughout them to be leaders as well as being able to train and present information that way. Here are six clubs or organizations that are out there. The Learning Guild, Instructional Design Central, Connected Learning Alliance, Association for Talent Development, International Society for Performance and Improvement, as well as a Greater Orlando Organization Development Network. Personal learning network that I can be involved in would be the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Center for Creative Leadership, as well as the Association for Supervision and Curriculum Development. All of these, again, there's a strong base in leadership as well as training up the next generation. Three different communities that I found for Full sale was the University on LinkedIn community, the alumni on LinkedIn, as well as the Instructional Design and Technology Masters of Science community in the Full Sail one. When I want to look for a mentor, there are a couple things I thought about. I want them to have a strong and insightful. I want them to be passionate about people, witty and excited about life, passionate and listens before speaking as well as to be resourceful and ready for any challenge, have an openness to new experiences, as well as a broad multidisciplinary knowledge base. Here you can see a snapshot of my journey at Full Sail, all 12 months with little goals that I have throughout what I'm going to be learning for each course outlined here by their course number. And then finally, all of my references that have helped me to get where I am here in my mastery journey. Um, I look forward to moving forward and really finding out what Full Sail has for me.